Des has seen, as he mentioned before the break, mm. some crises at Man United. The glory days. We we mm. thought they turned a corner recently, but now they're back in a cul-de-sac. And <laughs> <laughs> they've, I mean, they struggled all game yesterday. I, know, I mean, they were absolutely battered we by were, Bournemouth. Apparently, we were watching the Premier League Manager of the Month, Ten Hag, and the Player, player of the of Month, month <laughs> Harry Maguire, the previous day. <laughs> who, who voted for that? <laughs> well, they'd had a they'd had a great run in the well, in the Premier League. They had they a, not so hot in the Champions League. Great but they'd run. had a great run. Oh. They'd had a good run in the Champions League and the Premier League compared to compared to others. Well, I don't think they'll be there next month anyway. But the, the, the over, overall performance, I was talking about it earlier on, but the. There's no sense to some of these things. And you wonder about the, uh, the mentality of the club right now. There's, there's lots of things in the background. But Fernandez to get banned for the Liverpool game, which is coming up mm. next weekend, not for a tackle, not for, for fighting for the ball. It was for complaining. It's for dissent. Uh, that, that's ridiculous from the captain. I mean, what sort he of... He shouldn't be the captain, should What he? sort of example is that? No, he not doing that kind of stuff. I mean, he contributes on the, few, on the plate... <laughs> No. When he can, and he's busy, and he does create chances, but as a leader, I don't know, I don't know. You've got Rashford who's been benched, he's not contributing, he's not working, his bad body language, actual language, you know, talking about him being ill. Varane, another one who's out of favour, Harry Maguire's back in, Sancho, no reconciliation there. I mean, it's, it's, it's a mess, it's an absolute mess. There's so many issues going on. Casemiro injured, but he wasn't playing well before that. He's, he's on a £60 million pound deal, four years contract, £350,000. And Jim Ratcliffe keeps coming in every week, apparently. Although he was apparently down the ground during the week, and we still wait for Jim to okay. sign. And then when he comes in, he apparently will make lots of decisions, although I still can't see how that happens when you've only got oh, no, 25%. No, the, oh, the goalkeeper is not secure. Martial is ineffectual. He was, he was, he didn't, I didn't miss him contract, New contract for Martial. Oh, they need to get rid of him. He's, he's been there for so long. He's contributed very, very little. And then you've got Anthony. He's the Daniel Day-Lewis of one thing. My left foot. Left, oh, left, 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 left. He's so predictable. He's meant to be the unpredictable player, one of the, like Garnacho. It's, it's, he's so predictable. And it, as I said, it it's a bit of a mishmash. There's people in Reggion playing, and I know there's injury, injuries, etc., but they're just not good enough. You've got someone like Varane, who's won four Champions Leagues, Casemiro five. They're, they're not clicking with the manager. Obviously, Casemiro, I know he's injured. That's a pile of glory and experience, and it's not used. So something's going on. Something is going on behind the scenes. Too many people... It, we, I know it happens when teams lose, but you don't feel like this is a team at the moment. Now, in your varied career, as sort of in newspapers and on TV and on radio, you come across many, many different characters, and obviously you've spent quite a bit of ten, with Ten Hag, bit of time with Ten Hag. How does he come across to you? Because I think to the the viewers on TV and on radio, he comes across as quite measured, that he sort of sounds quite like he has a specific plan, but he seems quite cold. Um, what would you, how would you sum him up? Yeah, that's not bad. I, he's friendly enough. I think he's just straightforward. I, I, he's not a, a player that hugs, puts a friendly arm around the player. I think he's a, a disciplinarian. I think he's quite... Um, well, he is. He's, he's precise. He wants things to be done on time. He won't. He won't cut players slack for turning up late, which is I, fair enough. Yeah, to I, me. I'm fine with all that. I mean, he's very straightforward. I don't know whether that helps unite a, a group of players that aren't necessarily gelling together. I, I don't know if he can do that. He may be a very good sergeant major. I, I, that's, I'm not saying that in a disrespect disrespectful way I think he has a way of managing he, expl he explains and he expects his players to do something and if they don't then they're out you've probably dealt with every Man United manager from Fergie onwards tell, tell me how he compares uh, when, you, when you're sort of standing in front of him with a microphone when you go you know Mourinho, Van Hal, Fergie, <laughs> Ten no, he's, Hag. he's exactly as you see. I mean, he can be. He's, he does smile occasionally, and he's, he's he does engage, but he has a limit. He's 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 straightforward. I I can't tell him tell you more than that. He he can be friendly. I, mean, I when he was at Ajax, he was also he was also 
a decent interview. He, he never gave you a. He, he tries to be honest. I think without. Well, he was very honest place. about Sancho, and he got absolutely hammed for it. Well, I, I thought people were wrong about that. I think that's that's the, a stamp that you have to put in on that. You have to. You can't let Sancho turn up to, to training late all the time, and that was that was what was happening. We, we see in say the body language of players like maybe Rashford that they don't appear particularly happy with no. life at Man United. And as a manager, it's up to Ten Hag yes. to try and get the best out That's of him. That's what I'm saying. But he isn't. Mm. So what do United do about that? Uh, well, that's the problem. He has to connect. I, I don't know who he goes to in the dressing room because Harry Maguire was dropped. He was he was a captain. Mm. <laughs> he was stripped of the captaincy. So he has to have a communication with players in, in that dressing room. To, to get them united, he has to. He may have to soften his stance sometimes. Maybe he, he might. He does the friendly arm around. To, I mean, is he Fernandez? Fernandez to me just doesn't strike you as the sort of rational type who you'd be sit down have a conversation with, and you'd get all the boys around and and sort it out. No, I think you could actually have that conversation because uh, he's he's well able to speak. He's, he does uh, he does own up when things have gone wrong. I think he speaks well. However, when he's on the pitch, there's many, <laughs> plenty of histrionics. The other problem is, right, what is Eric Ten Hag's t- plan? So mm. what, how, how, does, how do Manchester United set up? The plan was, we thought, hitting sides on the break. So you've got Garnacho possibly coming on with a sub. Rashford was essential to that. That was the way United played. Hold, hold on and then go. And... Uh, with, with Marcus Rashford on the bench, it, it doesn't work. I can feel people probably screaming at us going, give Bournemouth no, some credit. Why don't, don't be Bo- in Bournemouth. Or well, <laughs> why don't Bournemouth get any credit? And uh, it was highlighted well, on TV yesterday that they obviously had a plan and it was to press United into the, in back yeah. because they didn't think they could play out yeah. and they did it to perfection. Absolutely. And Iriola, from getting a bit of stick early on, has implemented his plan. He's a bit of a bogeyman for United, having won there with that let go Bill Bowers as a player as well and they did it to perfection and frankly 3-0 did not flatter them no I, they, they were tremendous it's hard to I mean they were tremendous in the context that United were terrible I mean Ten Hag saying he's he takes responsibility for it well yes because you're the manager but the players didn't didn't play to plan they were very slow out of the Indeed. blocks this is the Sunday edition on TalkSport with me Sean Custis and Des Kelly